Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to create Samba server and also how to access Samba server from client. The main feature of Samba server is we can able to share files and folders with both Linux and also Windows system. Here I am having two machines. One is server and another one is client. I am going to show you the IP address for the server. It is 5.148 and I'm going to show you the IP address for client. It is 5.147. First, I'm going to configure the Samba server. The command to install the Samba server is sudo apt-get install Samba. Now the package for the Samba server has been installed in my system successfully. Now I'm going to create two Samba users. For that, user add name of the user. Another one user. Now I'm going to set the Samba password for that user. For that command is sudo smb password smb passwd space hyphen a space the name of the user now you have to enter the samba password for that particular user the samba user has been added now i am going to set samba password for another user 42 for that sudo smb passwd space hyphen a space user 42 here you need to type the password now the user has been added now you have to enable the users for that sudo smb passwd hyphen e space the name of the user now the user has been enabled i am going to enable the another user also sudo smb passwd hyphen e space the name of the user the samba user has been enabled for both the user user 40 and user 42 in samba share i am going to share a directory for a particular user so i am going to set owner permission for that particular directory for that cho the name of the user and the name of the directory which you want to share for that particular user is home user 40 and press enter now the owner permission for that particular user 40 has been changed for the directory now i am going to change the owner permission for another user 42 also for that cho user 42 and the directory which you want to share with that particular user 42 for doing samba configuration we need to open etc samba smb.conf file vim etc samba smb.conf inside that file you can able to see worker group here the default name of worker group is worker group but if you would like to change the name of the work group means you can change it. Then go to the bottom of the file. At the bottom of the file, you need to mention the name of the share. I am going to give the name of the share as open. And I am going to mention the path which you want to share. For that path, space equal to space the path home slash user 40 the share must be browsable for that i'm going to set browsable b r o w s c a b l e equal to yes i'm going to set read only permission for that read only equal to yes 
and I'm going to set a valid user. I'm going to allow only the user 40 to access this share. So here I need to mention the valid user to which the share has to be get accessed. And here I need to set the host allow. Here you need to set the network address. I am going to create another one share. The name of another share is global. G L O B A L. And I am going to set the path which you want to share. I am going to share home user 42. And I am going to set browsable equal to yes. Writable permission. So writable equal to yes. And the valid user. I am going to allow the user 42 only to access the share global. So here I need to mention in valid user. User 42. And here I need to mention the host allow. Here you need to type the network address. After that you just save the file. Now you need to restart the Samba. For that sudo service smbd restart after the service has been restart use the command to check your smb.con file for any syntax error for that test here you can able to see the share folder name and the path and the valid users and the host allow I have created two shares so you can able to see there is a two share has been created so the configuration for the samba server has been get completed now you have to move to client side in the client side i am going to install a package to check the access of the network share for that you need to install the package smb client sudo apt get install smb client press enter smb client package has been installed successfully now i am going to check the access of the network share for the user for that smb client space hyphen capital l space double slash the ip address of the server slash the name of the open share hyphen capital U space the name of the user and press enter. Now it will be asking for Samba password. You need to give the password here. You can able to see the you can able to see the particular uh, user is having access for network share. The name of the work group. Now I am going to check for another user also with another open share. For that, follow the same step. SMB client space hyphen capital L space the IP address of the Samba server slash the name of the open group. It is global one space hyphen capital U space the name of the valid user sorry it is SMB client I have typed wrongly SM press enter and then it will be asking for password 
here you can able to see the particular user is having access for the network share now i am going to do a temporary mount in my client system before that i am going to show you the partitions that are mounted in my system for that df space hyphen h here you can able to see the partitions that are mounted in my system before doing temporary mounting you need to install a package cifs for that sudo apt hyphen get install cifs and put star to download and press enter now the package started installing the installation process of the caf package has been get completed now i am going to do temporary mount under the directory mnt in my system for that sudo mount space hyphen t space cafs space double slash and the ip address of the server slash the name of the share space the mount point in the client location space hyphen o username equal to the name of the valid user and then press enter it will be asking password type the password now it has been mounted temporarily for checking type df space hyphen h now you can able to see the directory open has been mounted here under mnt directory for making a permanent mount for that you need to create file file2.txt inside that file you need to type the username for which user you need to make the permanent mount and also you need to type the password after that you just save the file now you need to open the first step file for that vim slash etc slash fs tab inside that file you need to make a permanent entry for that double, double slash the ip address of the server slash the share group name global one tab the name of the mount point in the client system tab cifs tab defaults comma credentials equal to here you need to mention the path of the file where the username and the password is present is slash file2 dot txt tab 0 space 0 after that you just save the file and now i am going to do mount for that mount space hyphen a the partition has been mounted successfully now i am going to show to you for that df space hyphen h inside that you can able to see there is a global share has been mounted under mnt it is a permanent mount and open group and open it is a temporary mount after reboot it will be get unmounted but this share global one will not be get unmounted after the reboot also now i am going to move to the chat directory to see cd slash mnt i am going to listen show you inside the directory there is no files present so in server side i am going to create a file cd slash home slash user 42 inside the directory i am going to create three files touch file 1 file 2 and file 3 here you can able to see now i am going to switch over to client system and i am going to check it whether the file is shared to my client system or not 
for that ls here you can able to see the three files is present it has been shared from server to the client system since i have given here a write permission to user 42 for the share global you can able to see the files that are present in the global share now i'm going to edit the file file number two for that gym file two inside that i'm going to give some entry after that i'm going to save that file now i'm going to view the changes that are made from my client system in this uh, server for that i'm going to switch over to the server from server i'm going to move to that shared directory i have made changes in file 2 so cat file 2 you can able to see the changes that are made from the client system has been reflected back to the server system since the client is having write permission he can able to change the contents that are present inside the file now i am going to show you whether the samba server has been able to access from my windows system or not for that i am going to open for that i am going to switch over to my windows system now i am going to access samba server with the windows client for that i am going to type the samba server ip address 192.168.5.148 You can able to see the share folder global one and open has been displayed here. I am going to mount global one share in my window system. For that right click, click on map network drive and then click finish. Now it has been successfully mounted to my system. Here you can able to see global one from my Samba server IP address has been get mounted to my system. Thank you for watching.